Hey, I'm the final anomaly, and today I... Wait a minute. I just got a really good idea. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all. I just got a really great idea. We're gonna cook something up for the meta. Let's go to the kitchen. Get the stove turned on. We got the fire going. We're gonna go ahead and add the pan here. And then we are gonna add the ingredients. What's on today's menu? We got ABC, Dragon Buster, Therian King Regulus, and Spriggan's Merrymaker. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Now y'all bear with me. Just let me cook, let me cook. Gonna add some salt. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. We got that going there. Let's give it a quick stir. Make sure it all gets incorporated the way it needs. Let's go ahead and serve that up. Alrighty, go ahead and add the spices there. Make sure that is good, y'all. And let's take this back and see how it tastes. Alrighty, y'all, we are back with what we cooked. Go ahead and give this a try. Wow. Ooh, whew, that's spicy. Ooh, that's disgusting. Hey, all jokes aside, I wanna take the time to say thank you so much for 4K subscribers. We were literally right around the corner. I think we need like five subscribers of the recording of this video. So thank y'all so much for liking the videos, interacting, watching them. I really appreciate the massive support. It means a lot. I do want to give a special thanks to Jerome Jones. I did not realize that you had been a member for like six plus months. I hadn't even been uploading or anything because of my personal life. So thank you so much for that. I thought that deserved a special shout out. But again, thanks to every single one of y'all for the massive support and watching the videos, liking, uh, subbing to the channel, and just interacting overall. I do want to mention, don't forget the tournament September 16th. It is free to join. That'll be on Saturday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's Texas time. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. I do stream other games on there. And we're going to be doing a rate the replay. Um, so make sure you uh, participate in that to show your replay on the channel. Thank you all so much. Let's get into the matches. The first match of the video. And we actually open a pretty amazing hand. Now we do get cooked to maxi. And Ash will hurt us here. Now, and Ash won't hurt us completely because we actually have a really decent portion of the combo without Union Hanger here. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go Gold Sand or Great Sand C. We're going to send Spriggan's Rocky, which is the ideal Spriggan's card to actually have because with this, we're going to send Spriggan's Brother. Spriggan's Brother will let us special summon Spriggan's Rocky and Spriggan's Rocky will let us return Spriggan's Brothers to the hand. Just Great Sand C. And a Spriggan's card, especially if it's Spriggan's Rocky, is amazing to open with. We're going to attach Spriggan's Brothers. Then we're going to go Spriggan's... Uh, or sorry, not Spriggan's, but we're going to go Champion Sargus here. So awesome, Champion Sargus. And then with this, we're going to go ahead and search Therian King. Then we'll do Union Hanger. And we could have gone different routes here, but we pretty much had majority of the combo just when you get just when you get uh, great Sansi in a Spriggan's card we're gonna get union uh, we're gonna go ahead and get sea crush now we get nabiru to here the play really gets hurt here but believe it or not depending on where in the combo we get nibbed which typically we're foreign to the combo that it doesn't hurt us especially if Therian king regulus is in hand already we still got this baby we get the token we're able to do the search we're going to go ahead and go Regulus. We're going to get Sea Crush. We're going to activate this. Now, we're going to use these two. This is the nice thing about Borg Blocker. It's just that it's any two monsters or any two effect monsters. Um, then we're going to go ahead and special someone with Sea Crush's effect going into Soul Core. And then now we have all ABC pieces in the grave. We have Regulus. We're going to pretty much have full combo with the exception of either Abyss Weller and IP. So full combo has all of this and either your choice of a Abyss Dweller or IP Mascarena for a spin. So we still got full combo with the exception of one interruption or a graveyard lock. So still really great and this is after being Nibiru. He activates this. We go ahead and negate that because we can afford it. We set the nine pillars which again I always say nine pillars makes us dark ruler safe, potentially droplet safe. And it doesn't destroy the opponent's monster once or effect uh, or whatever effect we negate. It sends it back to the deck, which then keeps them from activating a destruction effect or a graveyard effect. He plays 
this card here. We just return that. We don't want to go into the grave, so we can't activate anything. He goes ahead and plays Lightning Storm. We just negate it too. What does he play next? Of course, he has Emergence. So we go ahead and negate Emergence. He tries to go into the battle phase, I guess, to make us think he has um, evenly matched. Like, why do people get that salty? Just end your turn. Stop wasting people's time. He goes into the battle phase, I guess, so that I think he has evenly matched. I, I, I don't know. We go ahead and do this. We're going to separate ABC. Oh, I accidentally... Do not do that. I accidentally did his first effect, banishing my own uh, card that's equipped there. But we go ahead and bring out the three pieces, and then we have everything that we need. Now, access code isn't necessarily our win condition, but we usually tend to go into access code once all the negates are over and we're back on our turn, because at that point, we just get enough to go for game easily. I think at this point, I'm just messing with my opponent. GG's. Too easy. Match two. We end up getting a very ideal hand you always want to see union hanger in your opening hand always galaxy soldier is a super plus in the opening hand because galaxy soldier will help you do so much an extender a search um bait he can act as bait for an imperm he can act as bait for an ash blossom and then springen's watch with great sansi again great sansi and any other springen's monster or Spriggan's Watch and any other Spriggan's Monster is pretty much full combo. This hand is amazing. If we only had a Ash Blossom or Called by the Grave, it would be a perfect hand because then we'd have the out to Maxi. We can afford to be Ashed, but Maxi is, is rough. Anyways, we go ahead and activate this. We go ahead and send Spriggan's Watch. We get Merrymaker. We're hoping to get either Impermed here at this point, Ash Blossom. Then we also wanted to see if we were going to get Maxi. No maxi, no nothing, so we're just going to continue to go into our plays. We bring out the champion, baby. We're going to go ahead and play uh, Union Hanger. We're going to go ahead and do Galaxy Soldier in this case. Go ahead and do our search. We're going to do, uh, we're going to go be Buster. Do this. Now, I think we go into A. No, we go into C Crush. We're going to go ahead and do this to bring out Clear Fort Genius. And then we're going to go ahead. Now, guys, this is the route. With Sargus, you don't have to automatically go for Therian King right away. You can actually go into Clear Four Genius if you have the ability. Go into Tally Ho Spriggans. With Tally Ho Spriggans, you'll bring out your three Spriggans monsters, letting you go into Abyss Dweller as well. This is also another route for Aurora Dawn. Anyway, because of this, we'll be able to search Therian King with Clear Four Genius. So we search for uh, Regulus. And then we go ahead and go into Abyss Dweller. And then we go ahead and do this to bring out B Buster. We're going to have to make some room. We have to make some room on our board. So we go into Borg Blocker. We don't absolutely have to, but we have to make room on the board. Then we go into Aurora Dawn, and then we have full combo here. So this here is full combo. We go ahead and go into the Aurora Dawn line per usual. Bring out Danglong. Danglong, we're going to search nine pillars. We're going to go ahead and bring out the token so that we can go into Borload Savage Dragon. We're going to activate Danglong first. Then we're going to activate Savage Dragon. Go ahead and do this. Then we're going to go ahead and go into ABC. We're going to set our nine pillars. And here we have full combo we have abyss dweller we have abc we have theory and king regulus we have the negate with chi win and nine pillars we have borrowed savage dragon and then we keep phantom beast on the board in case he's able to play around all of this we still have the possibility of going into a link four on our turn the beauty here is we can negate the grave. We have a banish. We have a we have three omni negates, and then we can still activate ABC's second effect because Therian King goes to the grave, Chi Win gets destroyed, and we're even able to activate ABC's second. This is why there's synergy in this deck, and these combos are so good because we don't even lock ourselves from activating ABC's second effect with this combo. And so, anyways, what are we playing? We lock the graveyard. I think this per oh twin twisters okay. He tries to destroy those two. We go ahead and negate that. Then he act oh he activates Pot of Extravagance. We don't or Pot of Desire. Sorry, we don't want him drawing two cards. Absolutely don't want him to. And then he activates the Dark Ruler, which I always say nine pillars is Dark Ruler safe. That was pointless. I think he knew that. He was hope. Oh, you know what? That's what he was doing. He was hoping I would activate the trap card first. That makes sense. That's smart on his part. But GG's to my opponent.
I think this match is rather interesting. It is a six turn match. We draw an incredible hand. I want to use this match to show you how we can play around skill drain and to show you what you can do if you think you're going to get max seed. Max C is so powerful in this game. So I'm going to play Spriggan's Watch. At this point, I feel the toggle. I feel the toggle. It's either Ash Blossom or it's Max C. I think it's Max C. So what do I do? I'm going to go ahead and play Union Hanger. Now at this point, if he doesn't activate Ash Blossom, it is for sure Max C. It didn't activate. So if I didn't have Sea Crush Wyvern in hand, I would search Sea Crush Wyvern. But I did have him in hand, so I go ahead and play Sea Crush. The reason I play Sea Crush is because I'm expecting the Max C. So we activate this effect, and what is it? Max C it is. Now the reason I do this is because then I search. Now depending on what kind of deck I think he has, I might want to protect my Sea Crush from spells, or I might want to protect my Sea Crush from effect monsters. I choose spells. Now here. If he attacks in a Sea Crush, it'll send B Buster to the grave. With B Buster, I'll search Sea Crush. Then he crashes in a Sea Crush or destroys Sea Crush. I'll special summon the Sea Crush that I searched. Then you'll have to run over that Sea Crush and I'll special summon the B Buster. So we got Max Seed. He drew no cards. We can potentially survive four attacks. So that is the purpose of me doing it this way. We can potentially survive four attacks. He plays Pot of Extravagance. I'm thinking this is a trap deck. We're good. And he sets everything. So we didn't have to worry about it, but he set everything. All right. So he activates a second mech. I'm telling y'all, Maxi in this game. Maxi is so consistent. And the people to play blind, the people who play blind to saying that it's not true just dumbfounds me. Anyways, sends it to the grave. He activates Annie's Spell Fragrance. He activates Skill Drain. How are we going to play around this? Easy is it if you tell me. But we got Max Seed, so we're not going to worry about playing around it right now. We're not even going to special summon. We're just going to try to attack. He's got Storming Mirror Force. Everything gets wiped from the board pretty much the way that it's set up. But we get to do our searches here. The nice thing here is that our hand is nice and full, so we'll send Sea Crush to the grave, guaranteeing ABC for the next turn. He draws another trap. And now we're not going to be under Max C. We're going to be allowed to do whatever we want now. We're going to reign free here. So we're going to go ahead and play B Buster. We'll search the C. We'll search the the C Crush so that we can special summon. We're going to go into Borg Blocker. Do this. We're going to be able to play this. Then we got Aurora Dawn. Now the reason we win Aurora Dawn is this effect will be negated. But Aurora Dawn is our out to skill drain. So is ABC on the opponent's turn. On the opponent's turn, you can activate ABC's Banish effect. A targeting skill drain then activate a second effect sending uh, abc to the grave he's no longer on the field to be negated and it sends skill drain so abc and aurora don are, are out the skill drain so we go ahead and do this to destroy the skill drain he activates ice dragon's prison which is fine we destroy the skill drain go ahead and go abc and then we have the ingredients for the second abc so we get the second abc out and that's pretty much it our opponent at this point has nothing i don't i don't care what he draws I don't care what he draws, he doesn't have anything that's going to save him here. And so he draws nothing. GG's to the opponent. And for the last match of the video, we go second. This deck primarily needs to go first. Now we can, we survived several times and we've won. There was uh, one time where we lost, I think, 17 coin tosses or 16 coin tosses in a row. We went second for 16 matches, and we still got to Diamond 1 that season. We have a Nib, and we have an Ash. We can't ask for anything better. What are we playing? Heroes. We are playing Heroes, and we got the Nibiru. GG's. We have the Kryptonite to this Heroes deck. But what does he play? Dark Law. That's rough. He plays the Dark Law. Dark Law is very, very strong against a lot of decks. Uh, ABC being one of them. He does this. He's able to go into Chimera. I don't know why. Anyways, like I said, Dark Law, Dark Law hurts us. Dark Law hurts us. But we do have an out to Dark Law on this deck now, which is Great Sansi and Spriggan's Watch. We're going to go ahead and activate Great Sansi. We'll send Spriggan's Watch. We'll be able to get Merrymaker. We'll be able to send that to the grave going into Champion Sargus. And then Champion Sargus is just going to destroy Dark Law. Dark Law ain't got nothing against the champion, baby. 
We just run over Dark Law. And then we pretty much have full combo here. We're going to go ahead and go Talio Spriggans. We'll do Talio Spriggans. This will give us the full Aurora Dawn line for free. Oh, I think I messed this up. I messed up the combo. Okay, so I messed up the combo. That's my bad. I actually messed up the combo because I didn't have anything equipped to Champion Sargus, I believe. Or I think we only had one, which gives us brothers. Which is fine, because all we needed was a level 4 monster. Because we had Dragon's Ravine, we go ahead and go... Um, Destrudo giving us Ancient Fairy Dragon, giving us everything that we want. Ancient Fairy Dragon opens up the entire combo. And so we go ahead and go uh, Union Hanger, and then we just go full combo here. We just, we're just going crazy. We're just going crazy here. Now we go Aurora Dawn. So luckily, Talio Spriggins was to get the level 4 for Destrudo. That's what that was. We go into IP. So we go the IP line here. We go ahead and go into Aurora Dawn. We're going to get out everything that we need. Plus IP is on the board. And I don't think we get full combo. Or do we get full combo here? Yeah, I think we actually get a... Oh, we get a complete board with the exception of Therian King. We actually get a complete board with the exception of Therian King. So we almost get full combo here still. And there it is. We have a negate, a negate, droplet safe, dark ruler safe. We have a banish, we have a spin. We have a really good board against three cards. He activates this. We're going to go ahead and ash that so that he doesn't continue the plays. He activates this. We're returning that to the hand. We don't even want that in the grave. He goes into the battle phase. That's fine. I don't think we can target the Chimera because of the um, because of the card in hand. Yeah, we can't target the Chimera. So that was uh, I had to send Union Hanger because we couldn't target Chimera because of um, the Super Poly, not Super Poly, but the Palmerdation in the grave. But we're gonna go ahead and just use. I believe we're gonna go into. Um, oh no, we just go ahead and go into Access Code because it's a big enough beat stick. And then I think Access Code effect doesn't target, right? I don't remember. But that's GG to this hero deck that tried to Dark Law us, but Champion Sargus came in and showed him who the champion is, bit baby. You see what he's got in his waist? It's the championship belt. Alrighty, y'all. So here is the deck list. I'm just going to go over it really quick, but I'm going to type it up in the description down below along with the combo guide to this deck. So there will be a video for the combo guide if you guys want the detailed instructions on being able to go to the combo routes. Anyways, Chi Win. We have two Maxis, we have two O-Lions, we have two Ash Blossoms, we have two A Assault Cores, we have two B Busters, we have two Sea Crush Wyverns, we have a Spriggan's Rocky, we have a Spriggan's Brother, three Galaxy Soldiers, two Union Drivers, one Destrudo, one Spriggan's Bronga, Therian King Regulus, Nibiru, two Spriggan's Watch, three Dragon Ravines, two Chicken Games, two Union Hangers, uh, sorry, three Union Hangers, three Great Sand Sea, one Therian Coliseum, two called by the graves one tally ho and then one nine pillars now again i'll have the description of the de of the details as to why i chose these cards and what the combo routes out they'll be in the description below so make sure to click on that video and watch that combo guide if you're really interested in this deck for the extra deck we have two abc dragon busters dang long uh we have ancient fairy dragon boral load abyss dweller springen's merrymaker we have infinitrack we have gigantic champion sargus Cl clear fort genius IP Mascarena, Bar uh, Bor Borg Blocker, Nightmare Unicorn, Mega Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, and Access Code Talker. Y'all, if you have any questions, message down below. I'm definitely going to reply or join the Discord, and we can chat in there. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.